Hi, this is Julia Teang Orfiano. Welcome to my video. If this is your first time on my channel, please like, share, and subscribe so I can notify you if I have a new video. In this video, I am going to discuss about property, plant, and equipment. The topic that I am going to tackle is about the definition and nature of property, plant, and equipment. Definition and nature of property, plant, and equipment. PAS or IAS number 16 defines property, plant, and equipment as tangible assets that are held by an enterprise for use in the production or supply of goods or services for rental to others, or for administrative purposes. The assets are expected to be used during more than 12 months. Assets of this nature include property ordinarily not subject to depreciation or depletion, such as land. Property subject to depreciation or amortization, such as land improvements buildings, machinery, equipment, furniture, improvements to lease facilities, and book plates. Properties subject to depletion such as timber trucks and mineral and oil deposits. Spare parts and servicing equipment are usually carried as inventory and recognized in profit or loss as consumed. However, Major spare parts and standby equipment qualify as property, plant, and equipment when an entity expects to use them during more than one reporting period. Land held by real estate development companies and is intended to be sold in the normal course of business is classified as inventory rather than as property, plant, and equipment. Land held as a furniture plant site qualifies to be reported as part of property, plant, and equipment. But land that is acquired for long-term capital appreciation as well as land held for a currently undermined future use are reported as investment property. A building or a portion of the building that is owner-occupied like, for example, used by the entity in its operations, is included in property, plant, and equipment. While a building that is being leased out to others under operating leases and generates cash flows independently of the other assets held by the entity is classified as investment property. Thank you for watching my video. I hope you learned something from this video. I did part 2 and continuation of this video wherein I discussed in part 2 about the measurement and initial recognition. Just click above or the link below this video to watch part 2. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe on my channel so I can notify you if I have a new video. Once again, this is Julieta Young Orfiano. See you on my next video.